before the Congressional Committee to tell what I knew of activities which might lead to an attempt to set up a fascist dictatorship. The potential for the disastrous rise of misplaced power exists and will persist. The very word secrecy is repugnant in a free and open society. And we are as a people inherently and historically opposed to secret societies, to secret oaths, and to secret proceedings. President Bush signed a formal agreement that will end the United States as we know it. And he took the step without approval from either the U.S. Congress or the people of the United States. The secret organizations of the world power elite are no longer secret. No, I'm not comfortable with that at all. Who elected these guys to run the planet? They are the elitists. They feel they should run the world for their own selfish interests. Now we can see a new world coming into view. A world in which there is the very real prospect of a new world order. Bilderberg is making great progress toward a world government and only an educated, informed public can stop them in their tracks. It's good to be back at the Council on Foreign Relations. As uh, Pete mentioned, I've been a member for a long time and was actually a director for some period of time. I never mentioned that when I was campaigning for re-election back home in Wyoming. Let us never tolerate outrageous conspiracy theories. Everything is set into place. In which every human being on planet Earth is ultimately responsible for policies that are being formulated at the international level. It is a big idea. A new world order. President Bush uh, said that the New World Order was uh, in, 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 in tune, and that's what they were working for. The UN is part of that government. They're working right now very significantly for a North American Union. That's why there's a lot of people in Washington that don't care too much about our borders. They have a philosophic belief that national sovereignty is not important. It's also the reason I have made very strong suggestion that we need not be in the United Nations for our national security. New century, Americans and Europeans alike will be required to do more, not less. Partnership and cooperation among nations is not a choice. It is the only way, the one way, to protect our common security and advance our common humanity. in the United States to carry out a phrase his father used and that is a new world order. It is a big idea. A new world order. Ordinary men and women are too small-minded to govern their own affairs. That order and progress can only come when individuals surrender their rights to an all-powerful sovereign. The surveillance drones could soon be watching us all from overhead. The Federal Aviation Administration is expected to announce plans to expand the use of domestic drones in American airspace. Eyes in the sky, similar to the unmanned aircraft that the United States has been using to target terrorists abroad. So these people who hold themselves out to be patriots are not. They're nothing more than domestic terrorists. But when, when are these drones likely to be flying? And how many of them might there be above our heads? Well, there's a growing number already, Shep, but according to the experts, and indeed the FAA itself, there could be as many as 30 thousand of these kind of drones, 30,000 flying overhead within the next decade. Now, obviously, law enforcement uh, agencies love these drones.
So what do you think they need this for? Covina Special Refon Response Team. Did you guys just paint this? Or did they? Oh, you, you got this company didn't? Someone else said we should receive that Oh, wow. Crazy. President Bush signed a formal agreement that will end the United States as we know it. And he took the step without approval from either the U.S. Congress or the people of the United States. of military vehicles were recently discovered occupying a secluded commercial property on the outskirts of Las Vegas at the address of 5750 Sky Point Drive. It doesn't seem as if the Humvees and other military grade vehicles are for sale, even though they are stationed at a former car dealership that has been stripped of its business logo and signs. It would appear as if the equipment is deliberately being hidden from the public on this secluded property surrounded by barbed wire fences. The front of the building, which can be seen while driving north on Interstate 95 while departing from Vegas, is littered with pedestrian vehicles. After closer investigation, it was clear that the former United Dodge dealership is some sort of military station. Judging from the soldiers on the property, all dressed and outfitted in army fatigues. However, there is no clear indication or signage posted certifying that it is a United States military base. One 18-year-old boy named Jonathan, who lives in the area, proclaimed the military has been there for six months now. His friends added, we think it's a secret undercover operation or military base.
Here we go, people. World War III. And prepare for World War III, everybody. It's weird. Some of them are uh, have this red flashing light. That's the one right there designed for civilian control. <laughs> 